So I'm going to call out Country Wayne and I'm going to call out Eddie Griffith because what they're trying to do is they're trying to keep Mike Bliss and hug the comedian for security while they save money <laughs> and they got these niggas with them. I ain't no fool. I know what's going on. That's an old move I would do. So Country Wayne and Eddie Griffin is basically trying to figure out ways to cut costs. So they bring, and it's a very it's a very smooth idea. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Let me ask you, you uh, so you go from helping all the rappers to on the stage last night with uh, Eddie, Griffin. Eddie Griffin. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Yeah, like, like, and you up there really holding your own. Oh, yeah, man, have fun. You got fun. jokes, you got jokes about going to, to the, uh, join, getting out of football. Yeah. Going to the choir, uh, uh, getting into the uh, band. Yeah. Uh, all, real this, stuff. all this all stuff. stuff, all yeah. real stuff. Yeah. Um, enjoyed the hell out of it, man. Um, just when was your first time getting on stage? Um, my first time getting on stage was in Atlanta. What, went, at, well, was your Atlanta well, Comedy well, Club? First, yeah, the Atlanta Comedy Let's Theater. go. Um, and how long ago was that? Uh, this was probably about two and a half years ago, maybe. And how long been, after you getting out of security was this? Oh, about five months. Okay. Oh yeah, I was doing comedy five months before I started traveling. So yeah. what made you okay after getting out of security? You said okay, I'm gonna do, go into comedy. Was that your first choice? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It was um um it was a you know a couple comics in my city and they was doing um these these contests and shows mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So I went to one. I said okay, I'm gonna try it out. I went to my first one. Went to my first one and I won. My first time doing comedy. So mm -hmm. I went back again. I kept winning it. So I was like, man, you know what I'm saying? This is dope. Might have so. so I so I reached out to a comedian on stage. Um the first dude I started um traveling with, um, Capone. Okay. And, you know, he asked me to come to Atlanta. I went to Atlanta, I did five minutes. And after the show he was like, Yo, you know what I'm saying, you wanna go on the road with me or whatever. So I'm like, Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I started going around, started learning. Now at that time, I was a good comic, but I wasn't structured. Mm -hmm. I was all over the place. I was talking about this, talking about that, talking about that, but I had to learn how to get structured. And once I started getting structured, um, I started becoming a beast. You know what I'm saying? So I started getting recognition from. And what was of, your name the first time you started comic? Was it always, always the Hulk? Yeah, yeah. It's Let me always stop this right now. I gotta stop this while I got this thought. It just popped in my head. <laughs> and once it popped in, I gotta go with it. Yeah, it's I know how that stuff. is. It's real good stuff. <laughs> So I'm going to call out Country Wayne and I'm going to call out Eddie Griffith because what they're trying to do is they're trying to keep Mike Bliss and hug the comedian for security while they save money <laughs> and they got these niggas with them. I ain't no fool. I know what's going on. That's an old move I would do. So Country Wayne and Eddie Griffin is basically trying to figure out ways to cut costs. So they bring, and it's a very, it's a very smooth idea. You got a guy like you that comes, you with very experienced. I ain't got to worry about nobody coming up on me while I'm talking or nothing because my boy right there. You know nah, what I'm man, saying? Nah, whatever. <laughs> and then Mike, he come through the same way you did. Hey, what's up, man? I ain't really in the comedy, but I can do this. Next thing you know, y'all funny as hell. God give you the blessing and right. God give you, the, give you the gift. But these niggas standing in the back of Eddie Griffin and Country Wayne. Nah, And they man. sitting back chilling like, yeah, Let me I got tell you something. Yeah. Let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. With, with Eddie, bro, it ain't nothing. Like, when I tell you he is one of the most, and I ain't just saying this because I'm with him. I ain't just saying this. When I tell you he is one of the most genuine people I've probably met in this game, you would think that somebody, uh, you know, at his level in his career, being a, you know, a living legend, it would be something, you know, what you would probably think like, oh, he bougie or he this, that, and third. When I tell you, like, he made me part of the family. He made me feel so comfortable. He makes my wife feel so comfortable. He makes sure that I'm straight. He don't let me slack, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's nothing but love there. I I would I would not, you know, take a show or do a show with anybody else who's not even rocking with Eddie. Like that's how I feel. I don't care where, you know, who it is or whether, you know, where I'm trying to go. When I tell you that man take care of me and he makes sure that I'm straight and he has uh taken my career to the next level, I don't care who it is. If you don't rock with Eddie, you don't rock with Hook. That's how long how you is. been working with him? I've been with Eddie for about a year now. And how did you meet him? Um, I met him, we, I hit up his manager. I, well, actually I did a show in my city. Mm -hmm. Um, his opener, um, that I, that I guess he had at the time couldn't come. Um, I hit up his manager. Um, his manager was like, okay, cool. You know, we'll throw you on the show or whatever. This was in March. 
Um, I did the show. Everything went real good. A um, couple months went by. I hit up his manager randomly out the blue. Um, I was like, hey, if you, you know, if you guys ever need anybody, you know what I'm saying, let me know. He got back to me within about five minutes. So he was like, can you be in there, um, Alabama this Friday? Mm -hmm. I'm in South Carolina. So I'm like, yo, that's, a, you know, that's right down the road. And we was going to the Stardome, which is a big comedy club. So we go down there. We did the Friday show. After the first show, you know, I killed it. Went out there and did my thing. I go in the back. Eddie was like, you want to come to Vegas with me? What? <laughs> what do you mean? You know what I'm saying? Come to Vegas. I'm about to go buy my ticket right now. So uh -huh. before the um, second um, show, I had them already bought my ticket and everything. Um, and the rest was history. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The rest was history. And, you know, a lot of people try to get to Vegas and get out there and do shows. And I'm like, you throwing me, you know what I'm saying? You throwing me the alley hoop. I'm about to mm. dunk it. So I go out there. I do my thing, and I mean, you know, I just been with him ever since, man. Because um, what stood out to me um, last night was the fact that cause when I've been, we've been to um, Arlington Improv many times, and the headliner sometimes would have three, four comics before. And that's yeah. And I'm right. like, why does he only have you? Right. Well, that's just how he like to do his shows. Um, but one thing I will say about um, Eddie is. A lot of people want to get on these shows and they want to be with these, you know, these eleven, you know what I'm saying, these legends, these OGs and stuff like that. But you got to remember, Eddie is a beast on stage. And to go before him and try to, you know, do what you got to do because he's going to come out and go ham. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's that's a known fact. Mm -hmm. So um, I go out there and um, he say he like he liked the way I do things. He, he, you know what I'm saying, he liked the way I control the crowd, the way how I'm, I'm out there having fun. I'm mm -hmm. not necessarily thinking about trying to make everybody laugh. I'm mm -hmm. out there and I'm genuinely Telling having fun. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, I make sure that I go out there and do my job. Right. That way I get the crowd up, I get everybody laughing. Okay, this is just a little taste. Now you about to get hit in the mm -hmm. head with the, you know what I'm saying, with the OG. I bring him out and you know, our show is just dope. Funny from beginning to the end, you know what I'm saying? So, and so how many work. comics had you work with prior to Eddie? Um, so I to get you prepared for Eddie. Um, I've done shows with Capone. Mm -hmm. I've done shows with uh, Gary Owen. I've mm -hmm. done shows with Bill Bellamy, mm -hmm. Guy Tory, uh, John Witherspoon. Um, what else? Uh, it's a lot of names. Pierre. It's a it's a nice so list. So you did a lot of people before you actually got to Eddie. Oh yeah, oh yeah. In it, that it, short span of time. It, What's crazy is like I'm. I just feel so blessed to be able to be doing what I'm doing because I know comics who've been doing comedy ten plus years mm -hmm. and haven't been able to get out there where they need to be. And right. there's some funny people out there in the world, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know, and all of them deserve their shot. Let me put that out there. But you know what I'm saying? A lot of people they want stuff handed to them. Mm -hmm. They 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 want to just be like, hey, I do comedy. I'm funny. Put me on the show. I'm like, nah, hey, look here, you ain't even got to pay me. Just give me the experience and let me exactly. go out there and do my thing. And if you like it, bring me back again. Mm -hmm. And every time that's what happened because with, because with me, nobody expects for me to do and say the things that I say. Like, I'm not just up there talking. I'm dancing. I'm jumping around. I'm, You know what I'm saying? You, you think I'm going to talk about like how big I am or something like that. I'm not talking about none of that. I'm giving you the real the straight, like, me coming up, what happened with me and my grandmother, you know what I'm saying, like, the band stuff, mm -hmm. like, you know, I'm out there just being crazy and having fun, man, that's the, that's the big thing about it, and that's why I think that, um, that, um, Eddie is so, uh, that me and him are so tight. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna take